Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we lucked out today. Showers never really materializing, having a hard time working in, so better part of the day, mild and dry. Clouds are on the increase, but no precipitation yet. Take a look at Providence, where you had some sunshine a little while ago, and starting to see the increase in clouds. Temperatures now that are in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Northern part of the state was as warm as 76 degrees in places like North Smithfield. You had a little more in the way of sunshine there this afternoon. Take a look at the numbers now. Smithfield's at 75, cooler Newport at 60 as well as New Bedford. Taunton now coming in at uh, 67 degrees. We'll drop into the 60s during the overnight. One thing with the forecast that has not changed, the higher humidity is on the way. It'll feel like summer in terms of the mugginess, the moisture in the air. That starts tomorrow, continues through the weekend. Really, all of next week is very humid. An, un an unsettled weather pattern in the sense that we have showers for multiple days. I like to differentiate between a rain day and a shower day. What we have over the next several days are not rain days where it's just raining nonstop every hour, but rather shower days where it's just kind of scattered, not all the time and not all locations. So we don't have any washouts, but the risk is there every now and then of a passing shower or thunderstorm at warmer temperatures, seasonably warm. We're not talking 90s, but you know, upper 70s to around 80 next several days away from the ocean. You get closer to the beach, it's more like 65 to 70. But you see a warm front, this red line offshore is the leading edge. Now this will be passing through tomorrow. It's the leading edge of the very humid summer like air. And that's headed our way Friday and on into the weekend. And that'll bring an increase in the cloud cover tonight and into tomorrow morning. So this evening at 7 o'clock, mainly cloudy in the upper 60s. Be a passing shower here and there. It's mainly late at night. We're going to start with clouds and a little coastal fog tomorrow morning in the mid-60s. I think the best chance, albeit isolated and scattered, of a passing shower or thunderstorm would be during the afternoon. Notice temperatures mid and upper 70s, so mid to late afternoon. And even into the early evening, there'll be that random shower or thunderstorm in any given location. Uh, wouldn't last very long, but the chance is there. And then tomorrow evening, Friday night is a summer like night. The air conditioners are on. It's still in the 70s. It's very humid as well. So for tomorrow morning, part, uh, mostly cloudy skies, looking at temperatures by 11 a.m. at around 72. Some fog along the coastline early. I think the better chance of a scattered shower or isolated thunderstorm would be during the afternoon. These are more interruptions rather than just an all afternoon of, of nonstop rain. Temperatures mid to upper 70s, but the beaches, the combination of uh, the breeze off the water and some of the clouds, uh, temperatures cooler in the upper 60s. The fog may persist up until noon at the beaches tomorrow and it really won't burn off until the second half of the day. Bay forecast has reduced visibility and some fog in the morning and then any passing showers during the afternoon. East breeze turning south at 5 to 10. All right, you see the warmer, more humid conditions Friday through the weekend and looking at these isolated showers and thunder both Saturday and into Sunday. But again, I do stress there will be opportunities to get outdoors this weekend, but you will have to every now and then dodge some of these showers and some thunder. But at least it uh, starts to feel more like the uh, summer season. Uh, Kim and Shannon with uh, warmer temperatures and higher humidity, maybe using the air conditioners for the first time this weekend. Yeah, it's been relatively cool out yeah. there. All right, Tony, thanks. We have more coverage in the county.